What's up, YouTube? We're back with another video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. It's all for sports talk, the home of sports talk. Today, we're going to discuss the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this team has not lost a game since October 3rd. They're in a, currently on a three-game win streak. And they're improving week by week. This offensive line looks completely different. And this is a team that's found their groove. They found their formula. I made a video saying that they had a huge problem on offense. They still have the same problem on offense. Juju Smith-Schuster got hurt. They cannot extend the ball down the field consistently. But they found a formula with Najee Harris. And the offensive line is actually blocking better. A lot of people haven't seen that. This is an offensive line when the season first started. Najee Harris could not even get two or three yards without getting hit in the backfield. Now he can consistently get three to four yards. They're pushing it more upfield, and they're going against some tough fronts. They went against Denver Broncos team to have a tough defense. They get, went against Seattle Seahawks in a game that was very interesting for the most part. It came down to overtime, TJ Watt making Geno Smith fumble. They kick a field goal, get them out of there. Pittsburgh still was one. And they just beat the Cleveland Browns without a kicker for pretty much the entire game. Mike Tomlin got the kicker killed. I don't care what anyone says. Chris Boswell basically got a bell rated out of bounds and he still beat the Cleveland Browns team and Ben Roethlisberger went pretty much unscathed he got sacked by Miles Garrett but Najee Harris had another impactful game to where they're using him like how they use Le'Veon Bell a lot of flip passes out the backfield use him up the gut and Deontay Johnson Chase Claypool Pat Firemuth those guys like that they get a couple of good plays here and there and if it gets his team over the top the Pittsburgh Steelers for the most part they're a team that they only have to get one offensive play. You give them one good offensive play, and that can be the game. Pat Firemute had a beautiful catch in the back of the end zone. Won the game. One impactful play. The fumble that TJ Watt got in that overtime game against the Seattle Seahawks. One play decide the game. They're a one play team. You give them one explosive play, and they can win the game. That's how good their defense is playing right now. Mike Tomlin is great at adjusting. All the rumors of him going to USC, he's been a perfect head coach for this team because this team still struggles offensively. And they're a young offensive line. They have young wide receivers. Their best wide receiver on second and third down conversion, Juju Smith-Schuster, he's out for the rest of the season. He got hurt. He got hurt against the different Broncos, I believe. The team looks good. They look good. They're in a three-game winning streak. They've had Chicago Bears, another team with a bad offensive line, a team with a young rookie quarterback. You know what's about to happen, hopefully. But I see this Pittsburgh Steelers team. They're tough. Alex Highsmith is flying off the edge. Mika Fitzpatrick is playing good. Joe Schobert is making a lot of sneaky plays for this team. Devin Bush has been good as well. TJ Watt's been all over the place. That's why they paid him so much money. They picked up the play. They picked up the pace for the most part. I still am concerned about them going against teams like the Baltimore Ravens and you know Cincinnati Bengals, but they just beat the Cleveland Browns team. That for the for what everyone wanted to say, this is a team that they barely skate by. You know the Cleveland Browns are a good roster. What I mean by barely skate by, the Cleveland Browns have a good football team. This is a team they lost to in the playoffs last year, and they showed that hey, we're still the big brother team. Just had a downset. If they can just keep this defense pushing and they can just keep things the way that it is, I think the Pittsburgh Steelers will be fine. They're a tough, gritty team. They play the classic AFC North football. Play defense, run the football, stop the run as much as possible, harass the opposing quarterback, and we will be fine. That's the formula. And it has worked. For the most part, it has worked. I do see them winning a couple more games in the season. Are they a playoff team? I, I'm going to stand by what I said early. In the season, early in the offseason, I still think that they are a playoff team. You can call me crazy, call me a homer. Something about this Steelers team telling me they are a playoff team. Now, Super Bowl, I don't know. But I still believe that this team, they can harass the quarterback at a high rate. Alex Highsmith is very good off coming off the edge. I know that they just traded Melvin Ingram. It don't matter. He wasn't getting snaps like that. No way. You got TJ Watt. Devin Bush, you have all these guys that play great, tremendous defense on the back end. I still think that they can beat a couple more teams. I know that early in the season, they were losing against Green Bay Packers. They were looking bad against Cincinnati Bengals. I get it. I understand it. I was even on them about that. But I still think that Mike Tomlin can get this team to a winning record because the man has never had a losing season. And I still think this team will be fine. I think that Ben Roethlisberger, I think that this is still his last season. 
and they're going to power this thing out. I think they're they're going to go through with this thing. I can see them win a couple more games. They should be in the playoff hunt. But you guys let me know in the comment section. Are the Pittsburgh Steelers a playoff team right now? And how do you feel about this team? And most importantly, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video. I want each and every last one of you guys to stay safe. Stay positive. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Peace.